The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. As it was in Noah's day, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Luke 17, 26. From age to age, the warnings which God has sent to the world by his servants have been received with the incredulity and unbelief when the inequity of the antediluvians moved him to bring a flood of waters upon the earth he first made known to them his purpose that they might have opportunity to turn from their evil ways for a hundred and twenty years was sounded in their ears the warning to repent lest the wrath of God be manifested in their destruction. But the message seemed to them an idle tale, and they believed it not. Scoffers pointed to the things of nature, to the unvarying succession of the seasons, to the blue skies that had never poured out rain, to the green fields refreshed by the soft dews of night, and they cried out, Doth he not speak parables? In contempt they declared the preacher of righteousness to be a wild enthusiast, and they went on more eager in their pursuit of pleasure, more intent upon their evil ways than ever before. But their unbelief did not hinder the predicted event. Christ declares that there will exist similar unbelief concerning his second coming. As the people of Noah's day knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So, in the words of our Saviour, shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Solemnly there come to us down through the centuries the warning words of our Lord from the Mount of Olives. Take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. Watch ye therefore and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things.